great day, scholars. My name is Ashanti Barnes. I am the Early Childhood Curriculum Lead for our wonderful school district, Jackson Public Schools. And today I will be sharing with you a wonderful vocabulary strategy called vocabulary word mapping. A word map is a graphic organizer that promotes vocabulary development. So if you will see, we have a Frere model. And in the Frere model, there is a square right in the center. And then we have four sections where we will be doing activities to determine word knowledge or word meanings. So our very first spot would be the vocabulary word. We want to make sure that we program the vocabulary word. And here we have the word meadow. That moves us to the upper quadrant for definition. What is a meadow? A meadow is a grassy plain. So I'll write my definition in the upper left-hand quadrant. It is our definition for meadow. Next, we'll move over to our upper right-hand quadrant where we are looking for synonyms that will help us to remember what a meadow is. And some synonyms for meadow would be pasture, grassland, and plain. So far for meadow, we have the definition, a grassy plain, and some of our synonyms for meadow would be pasture, grassland, and plain. Next up would be the lower left quadrant, and this is where we will add a sentence. A sentence helps you to remember the word and to use it properly. Our sentence will read, John and I rested in a meadow while watching the clouds float by. John and I rested in a meadow while watching the clouds float by. So far, for the word meadow, we have a definition. We have synonyms, and now we have a sentence. And the final thing is to add a illustration or some sort of graphic representation that will help you to remember what a meadow is. And so for a meadow, we know that it's a grassy plain. I'll just draw an image that just helps me to remember that it's a grassland, a beautiful grassland, and that it is a low-lying le level, that it's a pasture, it looks like a plain. And so that are, those are the steps for our vocabulary word mapping. Number one, we will identify the vocabulary word. Number two, identify the definition. Number three, think of some synonyms for your vocabulary word. Next, number four, we will use that word, that vocabulary word, in a sentence. And finally, we will draw a picture, illustration, a graphic representation for that word, which is meadow. So, let's try another word. Keeping with the same theme, we're going to look at desert. So let's just say we're looking at landforms. Our next word is desert. The first step is to write your vocabulary word in the very center of the Frere model or the beginning or the center of the vocabulary word map. What's the second step? You got it. It's to write the definition. And a desert is a dry, barren, land. So now we have a definition 
for our vocabulary word. What's the next step? Absolutely. Now we must determine synonyms for our vocabulary word, which is desert. So what are some synonyms? Sandy. Dusty. Rocky lands. So when we think of a desert, we think of a place that is sandy, dusty, rocky, where very little vegetation grows. So now we have a vocabulary word, its definition, some synonyms. So the next step would be, you got it, come up with a sentence for a desert. The desert is parched and dry. The desert is parched and dry. So next, we would like to think of an illustration, a picture, a graphic representation to help us to remember what a desert is. So we want to just have like an area that's just very deserted and very little vegetation. Our vocabulary word is desert. Our definition a dry, barren land. Our synonyms for desert would include sandy, dusty, rocky. Our sentence is, the desert is, a, is parched and dry. And here we have a picture where you see that there is a very barren land that is devoid of vegetation. This is our strategy, the vocabulary word mapping strategy, where you Engage yourself in four activities to ensure that you have increased your vocabulary. Thank you for joining us.